Well, an Oklahoma organization is getting back to the basics to advance what they believe is the future of food. As our Russ Joel shows us, it's a new kind of grocery store where products come from local farmers and customers come with a smile. Kim Barker's job is pretty egg sighting. Well, I'm checking eggs in. Okay. We uh, check everything in so if something comes up missing, we know to look for it. Uh -huh. Kim is only one of over 100 producers here at the Oklahoma Food Cooperative, a revolutionary statewide program that's changing the way Oklahomans stock their pantries. It provides a direct connection between customers and producers, and they get that, that handshake, they get to know who the producer is, and uh, they have some faith in, in uh, their production methods and that what they're buying is really what it's advertised to be. If you've lived in rural America for any length of time, chances are you're already familiar with the concept of a co-op. Patrons are considered members who join by buying a small stake in the venture, about $50 per year. Then, during the first week of every month, these members can order a variety of products directly from a group of over 100 independent farmers from throughout the state. Local food producers tend to use less chemicals, less uh, pesticides, less herbicides, and grow in more natural and organic ways. This is Bob Waldrop, the man behind the co-op who founded it out of a desire to connect Oklahoma residents to a plethora of food produced right here in the state. A giant uh, tomato grower will choose his varieties of tomatoes based on what can be picked green and shipped well for thousands of miles, whereas your local grower will choose varieties based on how good they taste. In addition to bringing together a variety of wholesome local edibles, the co-op also brings together the faces and hands behind all those products, something that keeps members coming back month after month. You get to know your producers and talk to them and ask them personal questions. And also, if you have specific needs, you can ask them to grow for you. And after it's all sorted and packed, orders are loaded onto trucks and delivered to about 30 different pickup sites in every corner of the state. But I'd say we've got about 20 coolers, refrigerated and frozen total, and another 20 totes full of, uh, full of dry goods. If not more. Matt Birch has volunteered to deliver the orders for a pickup site in northwest Oklahoma City. And in keeping with the co-op's mission, even his biodiesel truck runs a little more efficiently. Local producers provide me with 90 some odd percent, I'd say, of my, you know, caloric intake, or, yeah. or you know, just whatever you want to call it. I don't have to do much grocery shopping, hardly at all. And whenever I do, a lot of times I'll, I'll go to places that even carry a lot of the producers that we're carrying right now, so. And at long last, after weeks of growing, sorting, hauling, and shipping, these wholesome goods finally meet their consumers, who usually happen to be the same people who produce them. I think it is uh, very beneficial to small farmers like us who are trying to break into a market. Consumers know where it comes from. They can actually call the producer. I think it's the way to shop. It's 1,200 miles fresher 